So hi Robin, Dr. Darren Starwin. Hi. Good to meet you. Me too. So would you tell me again, I know you've been seeing Dr. Sherman, tell me a little bit again what it is that you're getting treatment from her for? Uh, I see her once a month to, to basically fix whatever is out of balance. Okay. And what's the diagnosis you had from the doctors? Uh, I have relapsing remitting MS. Multiple I've had sclerosis. for 20 years. Okay. Well, that's really wonderful. You've been able to maintain for 20 years. and mm -hmm. I work very hard at it. I can tell that. Okay. Yeah. You look really good. Thank you. And so, basically, uh, what type of treatments does she do with you? What kind of things have you been doing so far? Spinal manipulation, uh, mm -hmm. some cranial sacral, okay. some of the stuff with the Accutron. Okay. I mean, basically, whatever needs doing. Whatever needs doing. So she uses a variety of different yes, techniques. She does. Okay, good. Well, you're in really good hands with her. What I want to do today is show you a technique which is something which has helped a lot of people with MS, especially um, one of my colleagues up in Utah has been using it with a lot of success. And what it basically is, it's going to be working a whole series of points along your spine. I'm going to use different colors at different levels of your spine that actually target different organs as Chinese medicine recognizes it. Mm -hmm. So we call that our spinal treatment. Now, you've also had a fair amount of pain in your right hip. Is that what you told me before? And so during the same treatment, I'm also going to address the hip pain, do some things for you there. Okay. So uh, we're going to get you situated here and um, get your drape so that properly do the treatment, and then we'll go ahead and do it. So you ready? Sounds good. Okay, thanks. What I'm going to do now is do two treatment techniques for Robin. One of them is going to be to work on pain relief for this right hip where she's had some chronic pain that has not been fully relieved. So we're going to start out with basic microlite techniques for pain relief in the hip. And then what we're going to do is more of a systemic treatment. And the systemic treatment is called our spinal, where it's a matter of working down sets of what's called Huateau or back shoe points. They're very close to the spine, so probably closer to what's called Huateau points in acupuncture. And treat at each level of the spine that corresponds to the different organs as recognized by Chinese medicine. Now for each one of those organs, we're going to use the color filters and choose a color that's appropriate for that organ. So this is a very interesting technique and it's been used with quite a bit of effectiveness for people with Robin's conditions. So let's start out with the hip pain treatment. And so I want to ask you just basically when I palpate Robin, um, how much does it hurt? Is this moderate pain or is it pretty severe pain when I press on it? Uh, depending on the point, it's up. Ah, okay, so that's pretty significant pain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the purple color. Purple is what we use for more significant pain. Blue is for more moderate pain. And purple should work quite well for this condition. So I'll take out the purple filter, drop it into the slot over here for the color probe system. So we're going to go ahead and dip this in the water. Now I've already modified the probe to be working with a treatment for the spinal treatment. I'm just going to expose this a bit here. So let's start out with the circling the dragon technique. Just right around the area of pain, searching for the points of greatest conductivity. So with points of greatest conductivity. So right now on the meter system, this is probably not clear to the camera, but we're getting about a 45% conductivity. So I'll go ahead and press the trigger button. A little bit of massaging motion. Okay, so we had a quite a significant increase in conductivity. It went from 45%, right now it's up to about 80, about 75 to 80%. That's a, that's a big uh, increase in conductivity and decrease of resistance, which is just what we want to see with this type of pain control treatment. So now I'm going to a different vantage point, searching with the probes to get points of high conductivity. So here at these two points, we're again at about 35%. So there is quite a bit of uh, resistance here in this hip area, which I'm not surprised with the pain. So again, press the trigger, a little bit of massaging motion. Again, uh, went from 35% up to about 70 and drifting down. That's a very good sign. I'll give it another, another bit of treatment here on these same two points. I'm using a ramping frequency for this turn. Okay, good response. 
Okay, so I'm going to switch here to Pro Preset number three, which is specifically for treating trigger points. It's called Acute on the Accutron. And this one, I feel like there is a trigger point here, which is maintaining the pain. So I'm going to go here, and this, is, this could be used for either trigger points or little lumps or masses in the body, as long as they're not carcinogenic, as long as it's, they're benign. And this can help to basically bring down uh, swellings and masses like that, and also places where energy is accumulated. So this is, you can hear the sound is a little different on the Accutron, because it's a different, a much higher frequency. I'm just basically pinching this area of pain from the sides and now from the top. Purple light flowing through as well. Is that pressure okay, Robin, or is it uncomfortable? Uh, it's borderline uncomfortable. Okay. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is just crush on that same point. I'd like you to tell me if there's, if it's just as sore as it was before, if there's any lessening of it. So this is about where you were jumping off the roof before. What's it like now? About the same or better? No, it's better. Okay, so you're not feeling as much discomfort when I press on it? No. Good. Okay, there's one more technique I want to do, and this would be crossing over the body. This is the great loops technique. And actually, in this system, the right hip corresponds to the left shoulder. There's an energetic relationship between the two. And so to see if this technique's going to be worthwhile, what I'm going to do is actually palpate her left shoulder to see if there's any tender points here. So... Just tell me if anything really jumps out of you. I mean, a little bit of tenderness doesn't matter, but if there's something significantly tender, please tell me. Uh, that's, yes. Okay, right, right there. Okay. <laughs> ah, right there. Ah, she. So, this is the point right around on the acupuncture point large intestine 15, which is a major point for, it's called the shoulder U. It's a major point for the energy of the shoulder. And we have found that it has a lot of good effect at releasing pain of the hip. So, for this one, I'm going to, I remember where that point is. So I'm going to change it to another preset. The one I used for the first technique was biphasic polarity. That's where it's switching back and forth. And that's appropriate where both probes are close together on the same part of the body. Okay, I'm now going to change to pro preset number two, which is polarized. Now, the first two techniques we did were biphasic. And that meant that the polarity was switching back and forth at these two points. And that's appropriate where we're dealing with both probes in the same local area of the body. But for going across the body, like I'm going to do for this great loops technique, it's important to have polarized polarity. So I'm going to go to the probe menu, choose probe preset number two. It's called dermatome distal. And it even says right on the screen, trigger probe negative. And what that means is that one of the probes has a trigger switch. The other one does not have a trigger switch. So the trigger probe with the trigger switch will be negative. That's what that means. And, of course, the other one will be positive. So press the button under here. Press the command knob to accept the settings. And now we have one negative and one positive. You use the same color, it'll be fine. So what I'm going to do now is press here to see where the most tender point of remaining is. Now because of the chasing the dragon principle, it's likely that it may not be in the exact same location as the other one. So again, Robin, I'm going to ask you, where is the most sensitive spot in this region? There. I... There. That's there. It. Okay, that's it. Ashi. In Chinese, that means that's it. It's there. So putting positive here, positive is sedating and, re and reducing. And I remember where this point is over here, right about there. And I'm going across the body. So we have positive on the actual painful area and negative on the opposite shoulder, which is the distal point in this case. So right now, our reading is about 40%. Now, um, take some deep breaths, please. That helps the treatment work a little bit better. So now, so the treatment went up quite a bit. It went up to about 95 so that means, again, resistance went down, conductivity went up. This is a really great treatment for hip pain. Just doing three presses of the button. Each one's about six seconds. So that's a total of 18 seconds of treatment. That's all we need there. So again, I'm going to press again and tell me if you notice any how it's feeling. Is it the same or better? No, it's better. Okay, good. Thank you. So we can cover that up now. All right, so now there actually are other hip pain treatments, but because we're focusing more on the back treatment, we're going to do go to that now. But that, has, that was an example of circling the dragon, trigger point release, and cross-body great loops. So now for this uh, spinal treatment, what I'm going to do is go to the probe menu, and I've already programmed this. 
in the Circle the Dragon setting. So now the timer is on 20 seconds, which is longer than the 6 seconds we're using for the pain control treatment. The modulation is ramp hertz. Now what that is, that's a treatment where it's, it's going through a whole series of different frequencies rather than just staying on one or two frequencies. And it's in the range of 1 to 12 hertz, which are frequencies that have been found in German electroacupuncture to be particularly active for the organs. And so the uh, slope waveform, we're having 100 microamps intensity, and the frequency will, will change as I mentioned. So now we're accepting those settings, and now we're going to go to actually show the technique. Now, as we're going to be working with these are the 12 healing colors that are very, very highly researched in terms of what each one does. Now, each of the organs of the body, each of the meridians, corresponds to usually anywhere between one to four of these colors, depending on whether it's an excess condition or a deficient condition, or in terms of Western medicine, whether it's an inflammatory state or a weakened or toxic state. So basically, what I'm going to do is, there's a system in Chinese medicine where each level of the spine at least most of the spinal vertebrae, have a correspondence to an organ or a function in the body. And each of those corresponds to a color. And so some of these colors come from traditional Chinese medicine, let's say the law of the five elements, where it says that blue goes to the kidney, green for the liver, red for the heart, yellow to the spleen, and white to the lungs. I'm not necessarily limiting, we will be using some of those correspondences, but there's other systems of color therapy where they come from Germany, like the color puncture work, and then the Din Sha work from the United States, that where these 12 colors have been documented and their correspondences. So with this technique, you don't have to be extremely precise about what colors you use. See, the way the body works is as long as you get the colors into the body, it'll register it. So in other words, it's not like there's only one certain color. I'm going to pick a color, and I'll explain as I go along. That's appropriate for each one of these organs, and I'll tell you my thinking each time. But just know these are not the only way to do it. There's other options. So I'm going to start up here at the top of the spine, right around the level of T1, and that's the acupuncture point, bladder 11, has a lot to do with um, wind in the body, and a lot to do with uh, the heat functions in the body. So because of that, I'm going to go ahead and choose red to give it some good yang energy. And so I'm going to take the red slide and drop it into the box. So we set to wet our probes. Now we have red light coming out of the probes, as you can see. So I'm going to go up here to this level of about T1, put a probe on either side of the spine. You should be able to see red light flashing here, and press the button. Now we have the sound turned up. Sometimes in a regular treatment, you may want to turn it down, but just for the purpose of this demonstration. So, so right now, Robin's getting a series. Now, is that pressure okay, or is that uncomfortable? No, it's fine. Okay, thank you. It's always good to check. Patients have very different sensitivity to pressure. It's always good to have a little bit of pressure, so you're digging a little bit into the, but not enough to make it uncomfortable. So, and the conductivity has gone way up in the machine, but so we've basically gotten about 20 seconds of a series of ramping frequencies. I'm going to go for another 20 seconds up here. The flashing red light showing in this area. I'd like you just to keep trying to breathe deeply into your abdomen, Robin. That, that does help the benefit of this treatment. Now, I'm not going to treat every single spinal vertebrae. I'm just going to go to the ones where the main organ connections are, according to uh, Chinese medicine. So the next one I'm going to go to is the, is the lung area. And that's going to be the color orange. So we'll remove the red filter. And this time, take the orange filter and slide that into the slot. And now you'll see we have orange light coming out here. So we're going to go down to the level of thoracic 3. And this is the back shoe point of the lung, bladder 13 or face shoe. But I'm not going to be right on the bladder meridian. I'm going to go a little bit closer in, closer to what's called the hot toe point. And again, just press the button and we're going to give another 20 seconds of stimulation down here around, and this, this point has an effect directly on the lungs. Of course, the lungs have to do with skin, have to do with breathing, transformation of energy and chi in the body. Every one of these organs is important in treating a multiple sclerosis patient. I'll give her another 20 second treatment on the same point. Again, you notice I'm doing a little bit of wiggling, it just increases the chi and the response in the area. If anything's ever uncomfortable, Robin, just tell me, please. I'm going to assume if you're, if you're quiet that you're okay with it and that you're doing fine. Okay, 
so next we're going to go down to approximately the level of the thoracic seven, which is the level of the diaphragm. And because that's the center of the back, uh, we're going to uh, use green, which is a balancing color. So we'll remove the orange. We'll take the green filter and drop it in here. And again, now you should be able to see green light coming out of the probes. So that's usually at the bottom of the scapula, is approximately where T7 is. So now we go put the green color into this area. I learned this technique from my colleague Ann Hansen, who does excellent work with multiple sclerosis patients, Parkinson's patients, and other people with neuromuscular degenerative conditions up in Salt Lake City. And she does teach with East West seminars from time to time to share her knowledge. Just keep breathing deeply. That to, just, it's good to just accept these colors coming in. There's a, definitely a psychological and emotional aspect to color therapy. It really does go to the emotional brain and energy centers in a different way than just acupuncture does. Now, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there's redness at all the areas where I put the probes. And that's increase of circulation in that area. Okay, next we'll be treating the liver, which is going to be at approximately T9. So there are several different colors that work with the liver. And one of the colors that's excellent for that is red. So we're going to go back to red, basically to stimulate better functioning in the liver. So that's going to be just a little bit below thoracic 9. Back to the red color. So the same ramp of frequencies between 1 to 12 hertz is now being applied to these acupoints. Okay, and then the next one would be one, thorat, one vertebrae down is the 10th thorax, so it would be for the gallbladder. And one of the colors useful for the gallbladder is yellow, so I'm going to choose that one. Again, as like I said, there's probably three to four, there's anywhere between two to four colors appropriate for each organ. And you can be fairly free form about this, just kind of intuitive. You don't have to be very uh, precise about this, and we found it works really well. As long as you get the, all the colors into the body, and they at least are reasonably related at each point. So now we have yellow light going through this gallbladder back shoe, which is a level of thoracic 10. very close to the acupuncture point, bladder 19. And another that meter one way up there. Okay, next will be the spleen. Now one of the colors best for balancing the spleen would be violet. So now I'm going to take the violet color. <clears throat> and this is a more time-consuming treatment than most um, Accutron sessions, but again, we're dealing with the condition that is more challenging to treat. This is um, the level of thoracic 11. Same level as the floating 11th rib, which is one way to find this point. Is it not comfortable being in this position, Robin? No. Okay. Give it one more sequence here for the violet. Good. And then the next one down will be the one for the triple warmer, which is around lumbar one. And there's quite a few different colors. There's, there's quite a few different colors for that. But what I'm going to use for that one will be turquoise. So we'll put the turquoise filter in. Bluish green. And just about the level of lumbar one. Color 
Sugar is really food for the body. It's direct food for organs, meridians, uh, endocrine glands. has a lot of effects on the hormones. There's been a lot of research proving this in various journals. And it's, uh, it's something that uh, has a lot to do with the mind-body connection. So what we're really doing is giving a form of pure food. I don't know if you could actually do a fast on just color. I guess that might be kind of challenging. But um, it certainly is nourishing directly. And it's my belief, based on what I've seen, that when food is broken down the body, or even pharmaceutical drugs and herbs, that they turn into color wavelengths is one of the things they turn into that actually nourishes the cells. So we're kind of bypassing the middleman and going right to the color themselves. Okay, next treatment's going to be kidneys. And for kidneys, one of the colors that really nourishes the kidneys is magenta. So I'm going to go ahead and select the, the magenta filter. So I'm having a lot of fun really using all these colors. This is a fun treatment and it's extremely beneficial. So that's at the level of lumbar 2 to 3. It's a little harder to see the magenta color because it has, uh, it's a very deep color. But the fact that you can't see it with your naked eyes has nothing to do with the efficacy. I mean, based on my clinical um, experience and testing people, it makes no difference at all um, whether you know it's, it's clearly visible or not. The body picks up as information. Magenta also has a good effect at tonifying the adrenal gland according to the Dinshaw material. So it's a really valuable color for modern stressed out, modern people. And then I'm going to just do one more, go down to the level of the large intestine. And again, there's various colors used for that, but the one I'm going to choose is going to be yellow. So we'll go back to the yellow filter. <coughs> Put that in again. Approximately the L4, L5 area, which is, everyone needs a little stimulation down there. One more time down there. So again, Robbins received the benefit of a series of ramping frequencies changing about every second in a 30 second cycle and the color light appropriate to each level that a spine were treating. Obviously I didn't treat every single vertebral level, it was the ones most significant to the organs. And again, this would be organs with a capital O as recognized by Chinese medicine. And they have a lot of overlap with the physical organisms recognized by Western medicine, but they're not exactly the same. They evolved in a different system of thought and science over uh, where, where it's not based on dissection, more based on observation. So good. So that completes the spinal treatment. So I'm just going to um, basically uh, give you a chance to get dressed, Robin, and then we can just see how you're feeling. Okay. Okay. So, so Robin, um, now that you've had the treatment, I just want to ask you just to maybe walk in, walk back and forth just a couple of feet in front of me and just tell me how the hip feels and just how you feel in general. Okay. Sure. This being a very confined area. Right. <laughs> I know. Oh, it feels good. How's that hip doing? Feels good. And so just like, do you, do you know, I mean, that treatment is sort of one that works on your overall energy. Would you say it had any noticeable effect on how you feel like, based on how when you came in before? Uh, well, I do, certainly feel more energized. Okay. That's usually what it does, you know. It, when putting those colors into the organs mm -hmm. kind of gives people a sense of well-being, sometimes deep relaxation. Mm -hmm. But in the long term, it does have some good healing effects. So anyway, thanks so much for coming in. I appreciate you Thank volunteering. You. Absolutely.